How many of you like to be called a vendor? How many of you like to bid? How many of you wake up in the morning and say, gee, wouldn't it be awesome if I had a whole bunch of RFPs, RFQs that were clogging my inbox where I was going to invest dozens or hundreds of hours and get absolutely nowhere? How many of you like to be brought in for a pitch, for the invitation to propose something? How many of you spend time or have people on your sales time begging for 15 minutes on the calendar of influencers and decision makers, begging for meetings? When you don't have leverage, when you're not perceived as a thought leader, when you're not perceived as a subject matter, subject matter expert, this is what happens, is you're thrown into the vendor box. And it's a pretty lousy place to be because you don't have leverage. You can't charge prices that are in line with your value. All you end up largely attracting is price sensitive buyers who only care about you being the cheapest. They don't care about what corners they have to cut, they just want the cheapest price. The flip side is when you're treated more like a partner, when you're, instead of you're having sales engagements, you start out with consulting, diagnostic, exploratory engagements. You're paid to do a report to actually make recommendations about what they should do as opposed to it just being a response to an RFP and a pitch. And most of all, prospects come to you and they ask for time on your calendar as opposed to the other way around. In the time I've been at Data Center World, three or four people have booked time on my calendar because of things that they've seen on our website or talks and everything like that. It is a complete game changer for the morale of your sales team and your executive team when you're positioned well enough that your blogs and your eBooks and your white papers and all these different events People are reading them, consuming them, and saying, yeah, I got to talk to them. Let me book some time on their calendar. You're seen, it's seen more as like a doctor-patient relationship as opposed to just being a technology provider or just being an IT vendor or a co-location vendor.